Life is about stories, good or bad. Why does anyone tell stories? It's another shared experience. I might have something in common with you, you with me. What else are you going to go by? People love listening to stories. We're hungry for it. Running through the woods, he says, I was hopping over things. I screamed bloody murder and thought it happened seizures. Bad shit happens, but you never think it's going to happen to you. I was terrified of the whole thing. The way that you see the thing is opposite. It's just a good feeling when you know that you brought happiness to people. He said, take a chance with me, baby. <laughs> take a chance with me, baby. <laughs> it brings us together to relate. It, it seems like we are different, but we are all all the same. These fundamental events are parts of who we are, how we understand ourselves, and sharing that is so critical, both in order to understand our world and then also to connect with other people. When you think about the moon landing, we are able to actually go up to that thing that we see in the sky, the moon. And the fact that that as an object has been shared by every human and every civilization for decades and centuries and millennia is unbelievable because then the moment that one human being steps on it, it actually unites the entire world around that idea that we did it. And we're getting a picture on the TV. And seeing that in particular, being able to see an image of someone on the moon at the same time that you could look at the moon itself was completely transcendent and mind-blowing. It was very, very simple when you could only have so many media outlets. And what happens with cable news and now the internet is this incredible fracturing of the landscape. What happens to us now, now that we have so many different experiences and that those experiences are underscored and amplified by the very, very different and sometimes opposing media sources that we pay attention to? Well, the big challenge for us is whether or not that diversity for media does create understanding between people. Today, we have the capacity to actually gather those stories together, to filter them, to make meaning out of them, to curate them, and to make a larger narrative that binds us all together. That's what collaborative storytelling is. Collaborative storytelling can be a better way to understand the human experience because it's necessarily as diverse and gritty and strange and unexpected as any of us could imagine. I turned on the TV and I'll never forget, it just seemed so unreal. And we sat there and we just watched. And I felt so helpless. We stopped what we were doing. I knew that everything had changed. I was terrified, I was scared. I will never ever forget that day. The 9-11 Memorial is a space of contemplation, of reflection and remembrance. Right now, the museum is still under construction, but even as it's being built physically, we're still gathering the stories of people's experiences on 9-11, and those are being archived and will become a part of the visitor experience inside the museum itself. This will be a radically different museum, a museum to learn to remember, yes, but also to participate, to actively reflect and to share. Visitors will be listening to each other's voices, hearing about 9-11 from those that made history on that day, and reflecting together on how our world has changed since 9-11. When we launched Make History, we had every intention to gather thousands of photos and images, stories from people all around the world, and we wanted to use that shared experience to help us understand what happened on that day and to share that within the context of the museum itself. We didn't quite understand, though, that we were making a platform for connections, not from thousands of people within the museum, but from one individual to the next. The 
this particular photo was submitted. And it was such a captivating moment from that image I took note of it. But a few days later, we got an email. It was actually from the father of the firefighter inside of that picture. And he explained to us that he wanted to thank the photographer because as he understood it, that was the last picture that was ever taken of his son. It was in that moment that I understood the depth of what a collaborative storytelling project can achieve. Not only having so much meaning for all the different people who will touch on it, but much more importantly, to make that deep connection. To connect the two people in the world who most desperately need to be connected through this one single image. You're telling a story, you're planting the seed for other things to grow from there. But having the story told through different perspectives brings an awareness of the larger story. That's what connects us to who we are. There's obviously a place for it. It seems like we are different, but we are all, all the same with our experiences. And uh, I just love the stories.